What's up everyone, Trent here at Precision Transmission and I'm in the back room where all the magic happens. It's a little messy today, but that's okay. We are waiting for customers to give us the go on a few transmissions. We've got some transmissions over here waiting to be picked up and waiting on a couple of parts as well. We have our TH350 out of our Chevy Caprice out there in which I'm about to show you. Here are all of our parts for our 4 l 80 e We are finally getting a hold of all of them. New pump, new wiring harness. I mean, guys, when we talk about what we're gonna do, we're gonna do it. This isn't just a show. We have a business. It's my dad's business. I'm working to own it hopefully one day, paying to own it. I'm, he's just not gonna give it to me and I'm not asking for him to give it to me. So there's all that. Everything's looking really good. I think he's out here working. Yep, we like to watch ourselves when we work. We've got a Dodge Charger out here, gonna be checking out a couple leaks. We have an overdrive housing. Had a gentleman come in, it's a hot shot guy. Had some U-joint issues. And you can see here, it cracked the overdrive housing notorious for doing it normally it's a front drive shaft but here it was the rear we've got some filters for a dodge 68 rfe coming in on a saturday for a service waiting on him to come in he's traveling what's up boss how are you i put in my 4l60 in my collar. yeah looks like you almost got it in there wow Look at that, three speed to overdrive. And it fit right in there, didn't it? Just about there. Just about there. Had to do some modifications, it just didn't go. Uh, you think more, but drive shaft fit nice, everything actually worked good. Looks good. Uh, so next, uh, fix and tear down the rear end, I believe, and put gears in it next. So uh, we'll be doing a video on it too, so it's gonna be pretty exciting. So yes, sir. I think it's all original, isn't it? Uh, looks it definitely. Looks in it. Yeah. Maybe a little paint job on it, but. Yeah. Probably just, uh, it looks like it's been painted on the outside, nothing forward. Yes, sir. So it's just something you can see, so. Cool, cool, cool. Well, let's see what we got over there. Hey, that dirty bird's looking good over there. I think we're going to be making a race in Pinwell. When is that coming up? Uh, fifth and sixth. Fifth and the sixth, guys. Y'all come down and see us in Pinwell. Y'all come get a t shirt, come hang out with us in the pits. We're gonna be there. So, Pinwell, Texas. Y'all come check it out. And over here, we have a 2006 Dodge Ram 3500. It has a G56 six speed standard in it. We are doing the clutch, hydraulics, we're doing everything. It's actually got a little bit of a leak already. Sorry, I'm shaking. Hold on, I almost dropped it. You can kind of see it there. Hard to see. It's a slight leak, but one slight leak can cause, or can turn into a big leak. You can see the end of our slave, or our piece here, I mean, it's just fried. So we'll be getting that taken care of. We'll get a full piece all the way up to the top to the master cylinder. So this is pretty cool. We're going from a single disc clutch to a dual twin. Um, it's up to 550 horsepower rated. I think the torque is doubled. So y'all stay tuned on that. It's gonna be really cool getting this out. These are fun. I like to do these big and heavy. That's the biggest thing about them. Um, so you gotta watch your fingers. Don't wanna smash anything. But that's that. That's a little bit of what we got going on today in the shop. Might show y'all a little bit more later on today. We might even have this Impala rolling, or Impala Caprice. Have our service or leak checked out. So stay tuned on that one. And you just never know what you're gonna run in here at Precision Transmission. We we'll always have a great show. Go subscribe, ride us on the internet. Go check out our fan page on Facebook. Hit the notification bell. Y'all come see us. Y'all have a great day.